The preceding clip should not have been seen by anyone under the age of... Uh, wait. No, they've just increased the age restriction to 21. If you are aged between 18 and 21, please take a cold shower and gargle mouthwash for the next two hours. For anyone else who is feeling the after effects of this clip, we told you so. There's like these like stupid dumb headphones. They're just like kitten ears and they start like glowing. I should just like wear one of those to confuse people what the hell is going on. No pressure, first episode. <laughs> Probably not a second season. That's, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> we ain't gonna like rehash this shit after like a few episodes. Like, this is fucking stupid, get it canceled. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst part. Telling people my name. <sighs> oh god. Hey everybody, my name is Lewis, and my awkward ass has my own show now. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because I love it. And I'm here to talk about some recommendations for books. And my awkward ass is gonna stay awkward until I get used to a camera being pointed only at me and not having like three other dudes in a sausage fest circling around. This has been through so many cuts and so many bad jokes. But let's get started. Where do you think we should start out? DC, Marvel, should we go off a better? Whatever close you It's water, but that doesn't help the situation. Okay, well, what, uh, whatever, um, whatever pitch of that is. An erection. Alrighty, first off, we have Evolution, ah? Uh? It's Evolution. It looks like an A at the end with the N. Oh well, the story's pretty fascinating and it's, and it's just really convoluted. It makes no sense. It's about, I don't know, a parasite that's mind controlling. It makes you crazy. Just think of Resident Evil, but slow winded and before the game got good. When they were doing the science. <laughs> the science? <laughs> You know, they were trying to make the virus before it became a zombie apocalypse. Sure. Do you, do you want to like go back and forth on this? Do you also get a mic? Because you're not giving me much. So far, it belongs three different people from their point of views. One is a doctor that apparently figured out that the infection was spreading and no one believes him. They just think he's crazy and insane. Even his wife and child left him and he's just trying to fight it. The other one seems to be this duo of two girls that found the snuff tape, which that means just a tape where you record you murdering somebody else. Look at the camera. Well, I'm sorry, you're not really get Can I get like a red sticker where to look at? That's right there. Like, yeah. that, that's a really bad focal point. Yeah. You know, the reason for the red light is for a focal point, right? Well, that's no, That has nothing to do with it and yeah. your cheap ass skate not buying a camera. And the third one is about a nun who uh, has a connection with someone they took in and committed suicide. And her ask, and she asked the priest so that she can go out and find out why it's happened and he's very denial of it and doesn't let her do it. It's hard because there's nothing really to look at. Look at this thing right here. Can, can you at least give me like a little kitten picture to keep looking at, stare at it? Just look at this right here. Do you want me to pull my finger into this thing right here? Yeah, okay, I'll use your finger as a focal point. And essentially around these four people and probably they will at some point meet together to face this infection or whatever this disease is. But honestly, it's very confusing. Your every panel is going between all three characters, all four characters, and their struggles. So it really, it's a good story with some mystery in it, but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't get there fast enough, and they're slowly coming together. My grade is too goddamn convoluted. Get to the goddamn point, and I love you, mama. Alrighty, next we got Phoenix Resurrection because this damn thing needs more resurrection than most. God damn, man. Please get something that's in the middle. Alrighty, so next up we got Marvel's Phoenix Resurrection. It's essentially about the story about the Phoenix resurrecting into Jean Grey. Not really her 
Oh, Jean Grey died. Let's bring her back. It's mostly the entity known as the Phoenix Force. Which is essentially an origin energy that no one knows where it came from, but it exists. It must always exist, kind of like Galactus eating planets. So what it's trying to do is essentially mind control or, or slightly alter her thoughts or make it more compatible so that when she does get possessed by the Phoenix Force, she won't be rejected. Because uh, Jean Grey was the only one to ever successfully reject the Phoenix Force and not die. Technically. So, a bunch of the X-Men's are trying- uh, X-Men's. X-Men's? There's no- I know, it's hard not to say X-Men for my brain, not to say like, the S. It's plural! Put an S on that! So a bunch of the X-Men are- came together to save her and go in. And as they're going in, spoiler, 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 they finally reach Jean Grey just to find out they have no idea what to do. So right now, uh, Logan is gonna try to wing it, in a way, and hopefully everything's get cleared up or he dies. I would rate Phoenix Resurrection as one fried egg and three scrambled eggs out of one whole breakfast meal. That's not bad. I love you, mama. What are you doing now? I gotta refresh a little bit. That dude just popped a wheelie in a bicycle. Random ass people with their fucking bicycles. Next up, we have Supergirl, Plain Sight. It's essentially about Supergirl dealing with... They never actually said her name, oh my god. They never said her name. All, th all this is like boob shot, boob shot, boob shot. Next up, we got Supergirl, Plain Sight story arc. It's essentially about Supergirl currently at the very beginning dealing with uh, a villain, or technically a villain, called Starshame. Uh, that came from a different planet and was sent by the DEO in a conspiracy not only to get her back and arrest her, also to arrest Supergirl. As you know, the DEO deals with uh, extraterrestrial uh, life that normal agencies such as the police or the government can't deal with. And they're the ones that deal with it. And it's the typical, you know, Supergirl storyline where she is just dealing with high school life, and being dealing with uh, being a superhero, and God damn it, I keep saying and, but um, but um, but um, but um, but um, shot, 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 shot. In the end, for Supergirl, it's kind of hard because I'm not really a big Supergirl fan, just because of the whole teen drama while dealing with work, school, and just being. A perfect being, kind of like Superman, but not trying to be compared to him. But you didn't really in a male-dominant society, apparently. Really Sexist. I will give Supergirl one hatched egg and one full chicken. Call your mother. <laughs> Face only a mother can love. Next up is Dead Man. A really fascinating story where when you open up the first page, you get the question, Phantom. Etrigan, Dead Man, all in one go, just so that you can read half the damn book like a five-year-old baby monkey on a typewriter, not understanding half the damn book, what is going on. The best gist of it I got, he is talking to his family members while knowing a little bit too much and no one questions why, because plot convenience, but during the second half of the book, he magically learned how to write English. And we get really compelling story and plot twists on how maybe he became Dead Man to begin with, or what future plans that plot twist had for him. So it was very compelling during the end. Really, honestly, all you have to do is rip half this comic, and you'll have one great story. Dead Man gets one open raw egg with three chickens. Dead man gets one raw egg with three live chickens. And your mommy loves you <laughs> because this is a face only a mother could love. Alrighty, uh, for the last story, we got Etrigan. Hell is on Earth. Damn it, no? Okay. Nope. Hell is Earth. God damn it. Fucking English, dude. The fuck? We got the demon. Hell is Earth. Number three. 
This is so far my favorite one because it wasn't written by a baby monkey with a typewriter. It shows weird plots like what happened to Merlin and him actually making an appearance here. Um, crazy plot twists. Etrigan literally getting a power up through the Valley of Death. Really great read. There's really not much I can say bad about it other than I don't have issue four in my hands right now. So I can't read issue four. Etrigan gets one full breakfast. <laughs> Damn, he has a breakfast? He gets the lumberjack breakfast. Oh, shit. <laughs> and your mama just called you to say she has a great gift for you for Christmas. She bought you the Xbox and that she loves you. You can get all these five books that your mama would love at MTC Multiverse Core Comics at, I don't know the address of the store. Say something about the YouTube channel. YouTube channel. What about the YouTube channel? What do you want me to say? Please hit like, subscribe, comment. I will not respond if they're mean. And if they're mean, I might respond. Think about that. And if you're gonna be mean, make it worthwhile. Make it worthwhile. Make me think about your meanness. <laughs> if it makes me tear up at the middle of the night, makes me wake up in the morning, I will respond. My name's Lewis. We're at Multiverse Core Comics. I will be forced to do this every Sunday just so it can be posted on Friday because the editing is horrible and I mumble on like a jackass. Friday 11 a.m. You're an ass. Friday 11 a.m. Good luck. YouTube channel. YouTube we com. got issues. YouTube.com. YouTube.com. Slash Multiverse Core Comics. Slash Multiverse Core Comics. Slash editing is going to be a bitch. Don't you have any sign off or anything? You get no sign off because this is the first episode and I'll look just like a jackass if I said Techno Viking doesn't dance to the music. That's my sign off. <laughs> exactly. That's my sign off for one show. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I love you. And call your mama. <laughs>